today we are going to talk about my perfume breeze and um, my spare freedom oh my goodness so pretty look at that it's on her third year now I think third or second third third spring in my garden so perfumes uh, Perfume breeze is almost to die out because uh, it's a like first bloom. I mean, bloom way before perform. I mean, spare S O F. So it's just so pretty. Look at her. Oh, it just stayed like this, and then well, and then it shatters. This one is old. Perfume breeze is so fragrant, and it still has buds coming out, and a lot of them. And then this one is. Um, Spare Freedom. So this one is the Mother Wood, and then the other one. Let's see. This one is, it smells so good right now. Oh my goodness. And then this is the other one. So because this has like 200 plus petal, and it just knobs, but it's but it's so pretty. Look at this. When it went up to the arch, it just falls down and smiling at you. Isn't it pretty? Oh my gosh. I love this look. And there's this more bud is coming up. Look at the top. I don't know. You guys can see it. But the top is that's a lot. Oh, there's a bus behind me. It's so loud. And look at all this. Aren't they gorgeous? Look at that. This so tight and so many petals in there. It blooms so well. So her leaf, I noticed like her leaf is not as dark green as the others, but it's just, it's not uh, iron deficiency or anything, it's just the way how she is. So, so far, I just love the bud. It's like dark purplish and red, pink, dark pink. And then when it opens up, it's, I think it has a ten of a lavender. Look, I got a bird nest right there. The bird must love it. So I think it's self clean pretty well. You see like this one is aged it and then it's just like the petals all fall off. It doesn't get molded like um, red ethan. Red ethan is doesn't fall off. So you have to keep um, putting, I mean dead head them but this one I don't really do much dead head because it's self clean and then eventually like this part it will fall off. So it's it's really saving me a lot of time. Unless I just don't like the look of it. Look at my perfume breeze, right? I guess it's be because the weather has been so weird lately. It's just like right now in June, normally in June in California it's it's a, it's really hot already. It's like at least in the eighty, but right now it's still in the seventy, sometime at night it's like it's at low seventy. So although it's not falling off, but usually it just fall off. So but yeah. Look at that. And this one is growing. Isn't it pretty? And oh it smells so good. And my perfume breeze. It just like clusters. Hopefully it will get taller, so in that way you could climb it all the way up and then mix with my um, Spare of Freedom. Oh, I love this long cane. Yay! Shoot it! Shoot up! Hi! Maybe I should tie it up a little bit and then that head a little bit of the perfume breeze. But yeah, so this is uh, my Spare of Freedom on her year 3. Finally taking off. Just love the little little buns and they're pretty so pretty wow. and then eventually I'm probably gonna crisscross maybe this winter when I when I training it I crisscross so next year and then has some um, small flower versus big flower together so that would be really pretty if they bloom together but perfume breeze they bloom pretty well and repeat pretty well and it's keep coming out. If you deadhead it and then give more fertilizer, it will keep coming back. 
and it repeats very well also too it's at least in my garden so I don't know anybody else in their garden love this look of it and also this part clusters aren't they pretty look at that so you could throw a wedding right there and I could put some um move some plants behind behind the gate and there put a backdrop this is my spare freedom uh, on her third season.